In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a GoDaddy domain name to a Bluehost hosting account, step by step. Also in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a fresh installation of WordPress for your brand new website. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Lewis here from WebsiteThink.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect a GoDaddy domain name to a Bluehost hosting account. So if all goes well, this should be done in under five minutes and it's a very simple process. So I'm just gonna jump over to my computer and just give you a screen view of how to do this exact process. Let's get stuck in. Okay guys, so the first thing we wanna do is go to our GoDaddy dashboard. Then we want to go to our domains. So that's easily done by going to my products. And then you just want to scroll down to your desired domain name. And then just on the right hand side, you just wanna click on DNS. Once that loads, you just wanna scroll down to the section called name servers and then go ahead and click change. And then you just wanna go from default to custom. And now if we just scroll down a bit, now we have two empty name server names where we can actually put in our Bluehost name servers. So this will allow us to connect the domain name to the web host. So I'm just gonna go over to my Bluehost dashboard and right here, I just want to go to the domain section on the left hand menu and I'll just go ahead and click that. Now, once this loads, you'll just see a section on the right hand side and you'll see the blue tab under name servers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. And right here we have our name servers for Bluehost. So I'll go ahead and copy the first one. Now I'll go back to GoDaddy and paste it in the top bar. Now I'm just gonna go back and do the same step, copy this and then paste it into the bottom bar. And now that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And once that's done, sometimes you just get a little notification up here. So you just wanna go ahead and exit that. Now the next thing we wanna do, since GoDaddy is now connected to Bluehost, we now need to connect the domain to Bluehost itself. So to now add the GoDaddy domain name to our Bluehost, the web hosting account, we just wanna stay in the domain section and then just go down to assign. And this will allow us to assign a new domain name to the assigned domain name section. So I'm actually just gonna go back and just copy the domain name exactly how it is. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it. And we just get this little notification here saying verifying domain. And this can take a couple of seconds and right here we see ownership verified. The name servers for the domain name are currently set to Bluehost. So that means we have successfully done the first section correctly. So the next thing we wanna do is pretty much scroll all the way down to the bottom, leave all of this as is, and then just go ahead and click assign this domain. So this may take a minute or so. So I may just uh, skip forward just to speed up this video. So once that's gone ahead and finished loading, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and actually install a fresh installation of WordPress to our domain name. So that's very easily done by going to the My Sites on the left hand side. So to get started, we just wanna to go to the right hand side and click Create Site. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a name for my website. Uh, but don't worry, this can be changed later on in WordPress. So once that's complete, you just wanna go ahead and click next. Now you just wanna click your domain that we connected just before from the drop down menu. So I'll go ahead and choose that now. And below that, we have a little thing called helpful free plugins. I'm actually gonna go ahead and deselect these as I recommend you not to actually install these as they're not really needed on WordPress. So once this is done, we just wanna go ahead and click next. And now WordPress is going to install on our web host. So this may take a couple of minutes, so I'll just skip forward of this section. Okay guys, there we have it. Our WordPress has successfully installed, and now we have a brand new website up and running. So we just have some details here, which I highly recommend you to write down. So this is your username and the password, which is automatically generated by Bluehost. And we also have our admin login page which you can see here. So we can go to our new website just by copy and pasting the domain name. And I'll just paste it into the search bar. 
and now our website is up and running. And by default, Bluehost puts a coming soon page, um, but we can easily log into our page by clicking the admin login, or we can go back and actually copy and paste the admin detail. So if you ever wanna log into your WordPress website, you just wanna type in the domain name forward slash WP admin. So if I go ahead and paste that in, this will bring us to the login section. So I can go ahead and put in my username and my password, and this will open the Bluehost dashboard. As you can see guys, it really is that simple to connect GoDaddy to Bluehost and also download WordPress for a brand new website. So if you're followed along with this process and are looking to make your very first website, I'll actually put a link down below in the description to a tutorial that I've made on how to make a blog in under 10 minutes. And this covers things like how to publish posts and pages, adjusting the settings of WordPress and so much more. So if you're interested in that, again, I'll put a link down below in the description. So if you've just created your first WordPress website, first off, well done. And uh, if you want me to have a look over your individual website, please comment down below and I'll be more than happy to look over it and give you any tips on tricks on how you may improve your website. So if this video has been helpful for you, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.